what's going on you guys i am back with a new video and as you can see from the title below this is just a tutorial video of how i did these locks myself i did them myself so if you want to see how i did it keep watching this video i did get these locks from amazon they are 24 inches so 24 inches um definitely wash your locks or any braiding hair for that matter wash it in apple cider vinegar with some water mixed into it um because prior to this i had some locks that i bought from amazon i'll show a picture and i went to this girl got them done and like about 10 to 14 days later i had to take them out because it broke out my scalp so that's why i ended up doing it myself but yeah so enough of that let's go ahead and get into the video Okay y'all, so here is me just showing you exactly how I put the lock in. So there's a little opening at the top of the lock where it was latched on to the rubber band or whatever you might have gotten it on. And I'm just gonna put my finger through there. That's gonna make sure it stays open when I put the needle through, especially since my nails are a little longer. But so now I'm gonna get the crochet needle and I'm pushing that crochet needle through the base of where I braided my real hair. Once it goes over to the other side, I'm just going to stick it through the hole where my finger is. I'm going to stick the end of the needle through there, release the hair off of my finger, and latch it on there. And you see it latch closed. I'm going to hold my braid and just pull the lock through. But I'm going to still open up that end where the hole was and taking the braid and the rest of the lock, I'm going to loop that inside of that hole. Once I pass that through, I'm going to just pull the lock and my braid separate from each other so that it'll tighten at the base. And so I'm just tightening it to make sure that I like how tight it is. Once you wrap, it'll get tighter to your liking, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm taking this hair and I cut the hair that I got for my uh, wrapping in half pieces because I didn't wrap all the way down to the bottom. But okay, so I'm going to take a piece and I'm just going to hold a piece of it with the lock and my hair. And so all three of those pieces are held together while I take that other piece and wrap around all three. So like I said, I'm going to take one side of the wrapping hair, hold it with the lock and my braid, and then take that other half and wrap it around those three pieces. I'm wrapping pretty tight towards the top so I can make sure that, you know, it stays in number one, but that I get that kind of tight look, not too tight, but you know what I mean. Um, you want it to look like, you know, it's real tight. It's not loose. You know, the hair isn't, you don't have new growth already. <laughs> and so I'm just wrapping. I am wrapping a little slowly right here. I will speed through, but I wanted y'all to really see exactly how I'm taking my time wrapping uh, I think I'll adjust my camera here shortly I'm just making sure that the hair is straight you know it's not getting tangled and I really don't want to wrap it to where there's gaps and so now we're speeding it up but yep I just keep wrapping down until I cover all of my hair all of that other side of the wrapping hair and then I'll just continue to wrap down the lock until the rest of that hair is gone so i've covered up my hair and now i just still have some excess hair now you could have just cut it if you wanted to i decided not to cut it um i just continued to wrap it down i will say that there can be some mistakes made when you get down because you know you, you're pretty much done at this point just make sure you're still wrapping in the same consistency as before like the same type of spacing um now some people they'll glue the end of it but I just rub it with my hands like that and they stayed fine um some pieces I went in I went back and fixed but for the most part I didn't need to use the glue so I'm gonna show y'all again how I do it first I'm gonna show you guys so what I'm doing now there were a couple of braids that I did where the parting spaces were just too big like it wouldn't have filled in the back the way I wanted it to so I'm just going to rebraid those and I'm using this jam that's what I used for my hair when I was parting um, just to get that sleek kind of look so I'm separating this part right here it was much bigger and I decided to make it smaller 
and so this one as you can see i am just two strand twisting this one honestly i was feeling a little lazy i'm not gonna lie but the two strand twist does the same trick so if you don't feel like you know braiding all the way down like i did on some of them you can easily just two strand twist all right now i'm going to show a closer look at how i did the lock inserting it so once again we're taking that crochet needle i've got my finger through the hole and i'm just going to loop the hook right through there as well the latch will close on there i'll pull it through then we're leaving that hole open and taking my braid and the rest of that lock inserting it through that hole and pulling it through I pull the lock and my braid separate to tighten it to the base of my braid and that's all it is to it and I just do that for each one now we're going back to wrapping like I said you want to hold one half of the hair the wrapping here with the braid and the lock and use the other half to twist now I did twist a couple times at the base with um, the three pieces just to make sure it was tight but as you can see I am just wrapping around and I'm just making sure it's tight at the base that's where I put my most focus on wrapping um, just to make sure that it looks really good when you first doing it and I just continue to just wrap down I try to make sure I'm not leaving any gaps between but it's okay if it does I kind of ended up giving my hair the butterfly lock effect which I mean it wasn't necessarily planned but I enjoyed it <laughs> so I just continue to wrap down like I said you're wrapping over until you don't see the end of your hair or the other opposite end and then just use whatever hair is left you can either cut it or you can just wrap it all the way down and like I said, I don't use the glue. I just rub it with my two hands and it does the same trick. Here I am just making some new parts. And so at this point, I'm just gonna let the music play and we're just gonna finish out my hair.
so I have gotten to my last lock. I am just completing some wrapping. Now, honestly, I did get tired. Um, my hands were tired. I did start getting a little lazy towards the end of wrapping. So later on, I did go back and just rewrap a couple of them that started to, you know, they got a little unraveled because I wasn't paying as much attention because I was ready to be done. But um, overall, you know, it was a it was a quick process to get the top done. I didn't take too long. I didn't take no breaks and I enjoyed the results. All right, y'all, that is the final result of the video. And, you know, I really like how they came out. It was my first time doing it, but I feel like I did a pretty decent job. I'll definitely be doing it more often since, you know, I've learned how. The hardest part is probably parting myself. That's the part where I'm kind of struggling with. But like crocheting it in and everything, it was pretty simple. My nails are a little long, so it, it takes me a little longer in general just to braid and stuff like that. But it was a very quick process. I would say overall, it should take you, if you're not like me and you want to get it done quickly, I would say it's at least a two day process. And I say two days because day one, you want to wash the hair and if you want to wash your hair. And then day two, I would say is when you decide to start crocheting. So a two day, so at least two days to get these results, but I love them so cute i am in virginia right now so i did them for my little spring break break vacation and yeah i love them so if you like this video if you want to see more videos like this let me know go ahead leave me a like and a comment make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because what are you doing if you're not subscribing but yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye